Julie here. Just a quick one for today. I wanted to come in and have a little chat about some of the creative profiles that you can have in your camera. So this is the Sony a7R5 and if you go into your functions menu when you, you can turn your camera on, then if you come over to here there's some creative looks. I'm hoping you can see this. So you've got standard, neutral, vivid, vivid 2, fluorescent, there's a whole heap. So black and white is one that I frequently use. So if you click on that, what it does is all of your images will come up in black and white. I've got my lens cap on so you can't really see anything. Can't really see much full stop. Let's put something in front of it so you can maybe get it to focus on it. So all of my images will be displayed here in black and white, which is really, really good for eliminating the color noise when you're shooting and just shooting for the contrast. So if you've got it in black and white mode, you can just concentrate on the contrast, the tonal ranges, your shadows, your highlights, etc. If you're shooting in RAW, these will still be in color. So if you load them up on Lightroom, and I'll show you that in a minute, if you load them up on Lightroom, you will see them as color. But there's a really cool thing about this is in Lightroom, you can actually load these presets up. So you might have to go and have a look on your camera for where your creative modes are. Mine are just in functions, so I've got quite a few there. So I will jump into Lightroom and I'll show you something else that you may or may not know. Okay, so now flipping over to Lightroom, I want to show you how those creative profiles can actually help when it comes to editing in Lightroom. So I've loaded this image up and if you come over to your basic panel where you've got profiles, if you click on the little drop down and go to browse, if you come all the way down to the bottom, you're going to have camera matching profiles. Now these are matching the profiles that were in my camera. So like I said, there's neutral and vivid and etc. Remember the black and white one that I said that I use? There it is right there. So I can apply that filter to my image. You can then edit as you want to. You can continue editing. The only thing that you need to be aware of, so if I go over to one of the images that I have actually edited in Photoshop, if I go to my profiles, unless you save it in your favorites, and it'll come up as a black and white, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, those camera settings aren't there on the PSD. They're only going to be there on the original files that you brought in from your camera. So if you want to apply them, do it before you go and do anything else. Otherwise, save them to your favorites and you will see them there. But it's handy to be able to link up the profiles from your camera into Lightroom. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that one informative. I thought this was something that a lot of people knew, but I found out recently that not everybody knows it, so I thought I'd cover it off. So I will see you next time on YouTube. Bye for now.